Boom! What's up, YouTube? Nick No K here. Today, we are teaching you how to get better at bikes. Play the intro. I'm so happy I have an intro now. <laughs> now, there's no real formula because everyone does their things different but I'm gonna tell you what works for me so first off coffee drink your coffee you won't become a pro rider if you don't learn how to drink coffee so that's just step one okay no I'm not joking around this is a real step all right on to the serious stuff though first things first um, um, um. first thing to really become better at riding is consistency. Ride as much as you can. And when you learn a new trick, do it as much as you can. Because that's probably one of my biggest problems. You know, a lot of the last few years, I've only been able to ride, you know, a couple times a week. Up until the last couple months, I've been riding, you know, almost every day. And I can see the benefit in my riding so much. Yeah, three years ago I learned how to cork seven and double flip and flip whip. But like a flip whip I would maybe do once a week. Once every two weeks sometimes. Sometimes even once a month. And you can't stay on your tricks when you're only doing them that much. So if you do only get to ride once a week, do those tricks a few times. Because your comfort level is going to be in your consistency. The muscle memory is key. Don't just be consistent in doing the tricks you already know how to do when you're working on a trick you know yeah sometimes you're gonna have to try it a few times and be like yeah it's just not gonna happen today but otherwise you know if you do a trick and it's not happening just keep charging put in the work and just do it and do it and do it and do it until it works like last night for example I'll show you what happened last night I tried to do a straight double bar spin probably about 30 times <laughs> Three years ago, I did two, ever. And so last night, I was like, okay, one, one. I just kept doing it, kept doing it. And the bike kept being shaky, and that forced me into figuring out what I was doing wrong with my bar spins. So essentially, I ended up relearning the pinch for bar spins, and then finally did two, and I was like, you know what? It would be so cool to, in one night, do a double bar spin and do a double truck. I just forced myself, and I, I worked for it, you know? It was like, you, Cause you gotta, you gotta work for it. Like I said, you do it enough times, you start to figure out what felt wrong and what felt right, and you can figure out what happened to cause something to go wrong. I realized that when I was throwing the truck, I was like dipping my shoulder and it was giving me this weird spin. So I realized, okay, you have to start the spin, then go into the bar spins, and then two tries later I had it. Yes! Another big thing that I would say, you know, is, is to film yourself. That's actually like, you know, what got me into making the YouTube videos. One, when you film yourself, it kind of makes you more motivated because you want that trick on video. You know, you want that cool line on video. I know what the, I know what it's like to go home from a day and, you know, say you wanted to do double bar spin and you did like 30 bar spins and you're just like, no, I'm not going to do it. And then you go home and you watch all the footage and all night long, you're just talking to yourself and you're like, man, I could have done the second one. I could have done the second one. Whereas when you did the second one, you're so satisfied because you have that video to watch at the end of the day. So that's one thing about filming yourself. You know, it kind of motivates you because then you have that footage of you doing it. But then for me, it's really, you can't really see what you're doing when you're on the bike. You think you know what you're doing, but you don't always know what you're doing. Like. You know, if you're, if someone's like, hey, no, you got to do this more, and you're like, I am doing that, and they're like, no, you're not, but it feels like you are, watch your video, and then you'll know that that's not what you're doing, or that is what you're doing. For example, with cork sevens, I went through this phase of like two years where I couldn't do the trick anymore, and finally, you know, I'd film the bad ones into the foam pit, and I'd try to figure out what was going wrong, and it worked a little bit, but then what hit me when I used to be able to do the trick right, I would compare the footage from that to what I was doing wrong. And finally I realized it was all in pushing my hips towards the bars. And then 
I started figuring out that that's the only thing that I had to focus on was pushing my hips towards the bars because that was the one thing making the trick go wrong. So now when I do that trick, now I know that once I get off the lip, all I have to do is focus on straightening my hips out and like exaggerating it, like doing it more than I think I need to because I know from the videos that that's what I need to do and it works every time. Film yourself. It's probably the most valuable tip to getting better at certain tricks. All right, next tip I have for you guys. Don't be afraid to crash. The more afraid you are of the ground, the more likely you're gonna hit it. Sometimes you show up to a course and the dirt is rocky, it's hard, there's some wind blowing, and it's totally human for that to get in your head. It's totally fine, you know, to be like, fuck, I don't wanna crash. But the more afraid you are of crashing, the more likely you're gonna do it. Like, if all you can think is, I'm gonna miss my hand, that's what's gonna happen. Uh, story, when I was at Feast and I did that front flip and I crashed, so all day, I didn't wanna front flip the big jump because my arm was feeling kinda weak and I didn't want to front flip the big one because I thought when I landed, my arm would blow off. So I front flipped the last one instead, and what happened? My arm blew off. The exact thing that I was thinking of earlier in the day happened. So if you just think, yeah, I'm gonna land this, you're gonna land it. Like, you, you're gonna ride away from it. I'm sure you saw the clip of me doing cork seven and going straight head first into the fence. So I wasn't afraid of doing that trick because I had landed it so many times in the last, like, couple weeks I was doing it first try and so I wasn't thinking about crashing yeah I did crash but then when I crashed it was like okay that's the worst that's gonna happen and now I was fine so then I did it again and yeah I crashed again but it was like all right all right then you know what to do so then the third time I landed it and I think that that goes a lot of things the first time you try something is always the scariest but then once something goes wrong and you crash and you stand up you're like it's not you know gonna what? go worse than that Ah, like, it's okay. It's okay to crash sometimes. It can hurt and it can be bad, but it can also, like, grow your confidence. Like, when you crash on something, you can be like, okay, I crashed, but I was fine. I got it. And then it, it like, pumps you up. So, don't be afraid to crash, guys. If you are afraid to crash, don't be afraid to wear pads. When, when you take away the ability for the pedal to hit you in the shin, all of a sudden you're not afraid to take your feet off because you're, you, you can't worry anymore about the pedal hitting you in the shin. For me, I always scrape my elbows. I'm gonna start wearing elbow pads when I ride the dirt because I don't want myself to not do a trick because I'm afraid to scrape my elbow. Put on a fucking elbow pad and then you won't scrape your arms. Don't be afraid to wear the pads if that's gonna give you the confidence because riding is so much a mental game. Don't worry about, don't focus on crashing all the time. Like, it's okay to crash and if you are protected, it's really okay to crash. And if you're comfortable riding without all those pads, power to you, I wish I could do that too. Another tip for you guys, working out off the bike. This one, I'm just gonna touch on for a second. Super simple, just do easy workouts, like lots of squats, get the legs moving so you have that pop, um, you know, forearm, bicep kind of stuff, back and chest, you know, for tail whips and all that, you want all those muscles and it really just helps like to do, you know, don't lift huge weights. You're not trying to become a bodybuilder. You're just trying to make your bike feel lighter and just feel more in control because if you, if you get out and you feel lazy and tired and you feel like everything's a lot of work, it's a lot less motivating to do bigger tricks. But when you, when you come outside and you're pumped and you know, you feel good and you feel strong, that's when you're going to have a good day of riding. So do some workouts off the bike. All right, guys, my last tip for you. This one's pretty self-explanatory. Have fun. On a day where you're not having fun, you're probably not progressing and it, you're probably just gonna get hurt. Like, if you're not feeling it, it's okay to stop. Like, go try it another day, ride another day, you know? Like, ride and have fun. And if you're having fun, all the stuff will come. Hopefully there wasn't too much talking for you guys. But I hope you guys could really take something away from this video because, you know, there's no, there's no real steps to be a pro rider. There's no steps to be the best. But I hope the tips that I gave you and some of my knowledge and experience can relate to you guys and help you improve 
Do what you want to do, stay consistent, don't be afraid to crash. If you're having struggles, film yourself, figure out what you're doing wrong, because you're going to be your best teacher at the end of the day. Everyone does something different, so only you can be in charge of that. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit the like button, drop a comment, tell me if you like coffee, subscribe to my channel, guys. Once again, Nick Noke here, and we will see you in the next video.